the Solutions Public Library's Read Across America celebration. I'm so happy you can join us today. My name is Mrs. Farmery, and today I have three other staff members who are going to read books with us today. Read Across America is celebrated every year, and it's a great way for families to get together and, of course, read. Traditionally, Dr. Seuss books are read during Read Across America, but it's also great to read books about diversity and books with pe all people included. Today, I'm going to read Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I would like to thank Chandler Random House Publishing for their permission to read to you today. Here we go, Green Eggs and Ham. Sam, I am. I am Sam. Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. I do not like that Sam, I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a box? Would you like them with a box? Not in a box, not with a box. Not in a house, not with a mouse. I do not like them. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Could you, would you, in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. May you, you may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree? I don't know. I would not, could not, in a tree. Not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. A train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Hmm. Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I would not, could not, with a box. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I would not, will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. Would you, could you, in the rain? I would not, could not, in the rain. Not in the dark, not on a train, not on a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in the house, not in the box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you, could you, with a goat? I would not, could not, with a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? I could not, would not, on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. I will not eat them in the dark, not on a tree. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. I do not like, I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, you will see. I do. I like them, Sam I am. I would eat them in a boat. I would eat them with a goat. 
I will meet them in the rain and in the dark and on the train and in the car and in the tree. They are so good, so good, you see. I will eat them in the box. I will eat them with a box. I will eat them in a house. I will eat them with a mouse. I will eat them here and there. I will eat them anywhere. I do so like your name, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, Sam. Our next reader is our communications librarian, Ms. Rochelle Kluge. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be here with you for Read Across America Day. Thanks for joining us. Um, I am going to be reading a book, it's one of my favorites in our family. It's called Monster Trucks by Anika Denise and illustrated by Nate Rag. Thank you very much to Harper Publishers for letting us read their book today. All right, Monster Trucks. Here we go. On a spooky speedway, monster trucks mow, monster trucks grumble, monster trucks grow. Franken truck is first to arrive with a jump of his cables. He's alive, he's alive! Werewolf truck croons a gravely tune, first a screech, then a growl, then a He's mad and he's thirsty and hot on her tail. Oh no. But the little blue fox has a trick up her foot. She slams on her brakes and locks him up good. Vampire truck takes a bounce off the wall. Spun out and sputtering, he rolls to a stall. Can you guess who's in front when the checkered flags fall? A little blue box. She's got gumption and pluck. But how did she do it? Well, we'll just call it luck. Thank you so much for listening, and I'm really excited to welcome Miss Bridget for our next story today. Hello! Hi, I'm Miss Bridget, and today I am reading The Little Guys, which is by Vera Roskell, and I would like to thank Roaring Book Press for their permission to read it to you today. The Little Guys. Here we go. You are looking at the strongest guys in the whole forest. Down here on this island. We are the Little Guys. Yes, we are small, but there are lots of us. And 
together, we are strong, we can get all that we need. We can cross deep water where we can't see the bottom. Off to breakfast for the little guys. We never get lost in the big dark forest. Nothing to fear for the little guys. We can find enough food for all of us. A piece of cake for the little guys. Way more than we do. No sweat for the little guys. Uh oh, I think they kicked out. They kicked out some chipmunks. That's not super nice, but we'll allow it. We can climb the tallest tree there is. Easy peasy for the little guys. We can dig through anything that stands in our way. Lands a job. 
jump in jelly flop on her poor old pop. Now, Peanut Brothers pile it on with a blasting butter bomb. Oh! Yes, sirree, Ginger Snatter was smack dab in a way of Bam Jam Slamwich. Peanut, Peanut Brother, and Jelly! Peanut, Peanut Brother, and Jelly! The tide and tentacles quickly turn. Ginger Snatter snatches Jellyfish in a squishy squid squeeze. Ten jiggle, did you say? Peanut Brother spins in to help his sis with a swirling shark clone. Totally jossum. Woo! Danger Stato fights back, dishing out some seriously sloppy codfish kisses. <laughs> did somebody order that fish in your lips? Boo! But hold on. Hold the tartar sauce. What's going on? From out of nowhere, it's a flying mom bomb! That's right, folks. The one and only Mama Rama has entered the ring. She's home from work and going berserk. Are two grown-ups too many for the tag team twins? Does this mean Betty Bye Bye for the kid crew? Dangerous Dad looks like he's got this one in the bag. Oh, no. But hold the banana bone. Could it be? Mama Rama is joining forces with the Kid Crew! Oh, no! Danger Stato has been double-crossed. It's a perfect parrot trap. Bedtime moves bleak. Dado is dead done. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing can save him now. Nothing except Big Bull Baby. And a clear the room diaper of two!